Hi guys, this morning I want us to talk about mental health. Um, I'm not going to go on too much about it. And if you see me running to the side, it's because there's a car coming. And if you hear heavy breathing, it's because my camera lady is a little bit out of shape. Well, I won't say that's rude actually. <laughs> a little bit unfit. But anyway, that, um, what I did on the build up to my cases, as you can see, I live in a lovely part of the country. But the south of Ireland is fantastic and you've got access to the beaches and plenty of very nice parks around the place and i found that going for a walk especially on my own um, or cycling i've done a lot of cycling as well the past couple of years because i'd be probably preparing myself to either go to court or to do a victim impact statement or just to the build up to doing my statements to the guards there be certain issues that I just probably wouldn't be able to get my mind around. And even though I'm, I was in counselling, I still probably wasn't able to even explain it to my counsellor what the issue was. And I found that to go off and have a good think about it was a big help. Just to be able to describe to your counsellor what's going on. For example, I was, uh, my father was, had raped me in the cemetery, as everybody knows. But when I thought back to that, in my mind, I was skipping out of the cemetery quite happy with my dad. And I couldn't understand why I was skipping. I just could never get my head around it. So I never really spoke to anybody about it. And then one day I was out cycling and walking and I decided I'm going to have to say something to my counsellor about this and we talked about it and she says to me, Fiona, um, sorry we just have to step in a bit, trigger Sasha, here, sit, 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 stay, now go, go, okay. So, when I approached this with my counsellor and approached what I couldn't understand or get my head around, when I described to her me skipping out of the cemetery with my dad and being very happy, she said to me, she said, Fiona, how old were you in the cemetery? And I said, I think I was about, it happened a couple of times, but one or two of the times I would have been 10, 12. And she says to me, but you were a child and I said yes so she says you were thinking like a child and I said yes and she said so when you go back to that situation in your head you're thinking as the child and when a child gets caught you know we all, a lot of us have children when a child gets caught doing something that they really shouldn't be doing or you've just walked in and they were touching something they shouldn't touch they start to talk in a, in a heavy, at a heavy speed or a bit faster and it clicked with me then that that's what I, that's what I was doing. I was happy that I wasn't caught, like, um, sorry, okay, so it, it made sense to me and I never viewed things that way, you know, that you are confused. A lot of these things weren't um, clear for you. And to describe that to the counsellor and work out when I was out cycling and, and walking exactly how it was, it did make sense. And I stopped being embarrassed and confused about it. So, you know, getting out for a walk on your own or just sitting at home sometimes if the weather's bad i'll sit at home and, I, and i'll get out a, a sheet of paper and i'll start to write and i'll light a candle and i'll put a bit of music on so especially you now i have to can't stress this enough especially on the build up to your case or the build up to your meeting with the guards it's very important to to mind yourself and to acknowledge that maybe you're struggling 
or maybe you're having issues with certain things or you're not understanding. So getting out in the fresh air is very important and it helps, you know. I um especially for people who who've had little crutches. Um, again, there's people who are out there on, on antidepressants and sleeping tablets and, and whatever and I'm not I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because we all need a little bit of help. But it it, it, it helps you kind of to to recognise and think about the fact that you're struggling with something. And then even to go back to your doctor and tell your doctor that you're struggling to sleep or um, you're just struggling to, to get up the next day. Because we all... I haven't met one abuse victim or survivor who is, is not struggling with depression. So this is how Fiona Doyle deals with it. I get my husband's dogs and I go to walk. And at the end of the day, I go home in a better humour and it helps me then deal with what the day brings. So again, if you have any questions or you need to ask me anything, or you just want to know where I'm walking, I'm not going to tell you. But anything you want to ask, just let me know. Ask a question and I'll answer it. Thanks for looking in on me. Talk to you later.